Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel, and I'm now answering question number three from the October 2022 Pure Mathematics P1 paper from Edexcel. This question here is about um, like simultaneous equations. It says the share price of a company is monitored. Exactly three years after monitoring began, the share price was one point one pound and five pence. Exactly five years after monitoring began, the share price was one pound and sixty-five pence. The share price in pounds, which is given by the symbol V of the company, is modelled by the equation V equals P T plus Q, where T is the number of years after monitoring began, and P and Q are constants. So three years after monitoring began, that means when T equals three, um, and the price V was 0 1.05. And we know that when five years after monitoring began, T equals five, the share price was 1.65. So from these two bits of information, we can um, form two simultaneous equations, a pair of simultaneous equations. So we know that when V is 1.05, 1, 1 1 that's when T is 3. So P times, you've got P times 3 plus Q. Okay, and here you have 1.65 equals P times 5 plus Q. So that leads us to an equation 3P plus Q is equal to 1.05 and 5p plus q is equal to 1.65. So we have equation 1 and we have equation 2. We have two equations, a pair of simultaneous equations. p and q are unknown. We've got to find what they are. So we can solve this in a variety of methods. Probably the easiest way to do it is to take equation 2 and subtract from equation 1. So we end up with uh, the q's being eliminated. So 5p minus 3p is 2p. q's have gone. And you have 1.65 minus 1.05, um, that gives you 0 0.6. So we can say that P is equal to 0 0.3. All right? And to find what um, Q is, we can substitute P equals 0 0.3 into either of the two equations. Let's choose the first equation. So we're going to put P equals 0 0.3 into the first equation. So we have 3 times 0 0.3 plus Q is equal to 1.05 so that's 0 0.6 plus q is equal to 1.05 so q is 1.05 minus 0 0.6 okay um sorry that's 0 0.9 what we're we talking about my bad there that's 0 0.9 isn't it okay minus 0 0.9 so q is going to be uh, 1.05 minus 0 0.9. Let's work out what that is. So we have 1.05 minus 0 0.9. And that gives us 3 over 20, which is 0 0.15. So we end up with P equals 0 0.3 and Q equals 0 0.15. So there is the answer to part A of this question. All right. So, I mean, if we wanted to check our answers, we could substitute in here and see if we're correct. So that would be 5 for the first one. Of course, it should be correct because we use that equation. Well, that's 0 0.9 plus 0 0.15, um, 0 0.9, yeah, that's 1.05. And 5 times 0 0.3, that's 1.5 plus 0 0.15, that's 1.65. So those two values do satisfy both the equations, so we know we're correct. All right, then it says exactly T years after monitoring began, Okay, the share price was two pounds fifty, so that means when the the t in our equation was equal to capital T, then v became two pound fifty. All right, and we know our equation is given by v um, equals p t plus q, v equals p t plus q. Now we know what p and q are now, so v equals zero point three t plus zero point one five. Okay, so now we're told when t uh, when V is 2.5, then T is capital T, so 0 0.3 times T plus 0 0.15. We've got to find what T is, so we have 2.5 minus 0 0.15 divided by 0 0.3, and that's what T is. So T is equal to 
minus, let's put in a fraction first, 2.5 minus 0 0.15 and divided by 0 0.3. And that gives you, um, to one decimal place, the value of t is going to be 7.8333. Recurring, 7.8333. 3. They want the answer to one decimal place, so that's going to be 7. 0.8. There's the answer to question part B, given in the form they want us to give it to in the end, and that's the answer to this question. Okay, so that's that's a very simple actual question. It's very, uh, it's like a giveaway five marks there. Um, it's kind of like almost you know pre GCSE um, level of of question, but no problem. We don't mind. Get some free marks. So that's the answer to question three. Um, other questions from this paper can be found in the playlist that will appear over here. Other questions on this topic, which is, um, I, I guess I'll put it under linear equations, under um, straight line graphs or equations, something like that. I don't know, something like that. I'll put it some in some playlist that might fit over here. And you can, sub you can subscribe to the channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.